Now, do you know your American whiskies from your Scottish or Irish whiskies? Do you know the differences when it comes to the recipes, the distillery process, and how they're handcrafted? Well, Brown Foreman, the company that pioneered the sale of bottled bourbon, recently marked its 150th anniversary with the launch of the first Brown Foreman Lasmall flagship store and the introduction of the Jack Daniels Craft and Luxury Collection here in Singapore. To give us an idea of the different notes, the blending and maturation process, and the importance of the water used, in addition to some food pairing ideas and how to make a cracking Jack Daniels cocktail is Grant Sheeran. He's Brown Foreman Regional Brand Ambassador talking to me from Australia. Welcome, Grant. Yeah. Great to have you on the program. Now, um, Grant, just before we go into this into this luxury collection a little bit more detail, give us a short history of Jack Daniels. Um, you know the, the the timeline, not the whole timeline, of course, because it's so long. But sure. give us a little bit of a history. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's an American brand born in Lynchburg, Tennessee, and raised everywhere, and 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 was crafted and created by a man by the name of Jasper Newton Daniel, Jack Daniel, back in in 1866. Uh, the Jack Daniel Distillery has uh, been operating on that site ever since then. And due to a sort of a short time in American history where we couldn't produce whiskey, uh, every single drop is crafted and made in Lynchburg, Tennessee. So we're very proud of that fact and extending back to that heritage fact uh, from 1866. Yeah, and it's 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 got a wonderful timeline. And as you say, very popular around the world. But it's made in a dry county. Yeah, we, we're, uh, we're made in a dry county in Lynchburg, Tennessee, um, um, due to a referendum and uh, when the United States went dry due to prohibition uh, after when we came out of prohibition uh, in, in the late 20s um, that the town decided to stay dry so we're still dry to this day you can, we can make Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey there but if you come and visit us in Lynchburg Tennessee you won't be able to go to a bar and enjoy a fine drop of, of Jack Daniels whiskey uh, because of that fact so you'll have to buy a bottle and then jump over the border. Um, now, Grant, yeah. <laughs> many of us are familiar, of course, with, with the Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Tennessee Sal Mash Whiskey. Uh, it's, a, it's a very popular label. We see it everywhere. Talk about its popularity and, 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 and how it, that one is particularly handcrafted. Yeah, you know, we've, we've been making, as I said before, making Jack Daniels Whiskey uh, since 1866 and uh, from that original recipe and Tennessee whiskey is a combination of of three grains So if you look at American whiskey and you look at Tennessee whiskey say to scotch whiskey American whiskey is a combination of three grains corn Rye and, and malted barley so that gives us a unique flavor profile that that uh, makes us uniquely American from that native Indian corn And if you look at whiskey say from the old world say a, a single malt whiskey comes from one particular grain source single malt whiskey so Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey will use a combination of about 80% corn, 12% rye, um, a rye and a, and, a, and, a, and a mash bill, and the rest is that um, malted barley to make up that 100% grain bill. So that will give us a distinctive flavour profile in, in our Jack Daniels Whiskey. And you can really taste some of those grains. Now, um, in 2015, Jack Daniels developed the first new mash recipe, I believe, in 150 years, which was a single barrel rye. Um, talk about the rise in popularity of rye whiskies. Yeah, you, you know, thanks to uh, resurgence of, of plastic cocktails around the world and the emergence of some amazing bars and cocktail bars around. In fact, Singapore has a high concentration of some of the world's finest bars uh, you know, in, in the world. And, and through this rise in popularity in terms of cocktail culture, uh, rye whiskey um, has really um, come back to fruition, you know, back in about 2007, there are only sort of three brands of rye whiskey on the market, and and to this day now, there's about 60 plus brands. And we've decided, you know what, in all that time from about 1866 until about uh, 2015, we had we only made one whiskey, which was the Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey um, whiskey uh, um, brand. So we decided, you now we're going to give a rye whiskey a go. So we crafted. A unique offering, which is uh, our rye whis- whiskey, which incorporates 70% of grain in that entry point versus that 80% corn. So what that gives us, it gives us a beautiful sort of robust style of American whiskey that is, you know, quite different to our Tennessee whiskey, but it's going to give the whiskey consumer a drinker and essentially, essentially a beautiful new whiskey experience. 
And really smooth. You know, I, I, I had a sip of those ones over at that Zoom tasting with you, Grant, uh, a few days ago. And I'm a bit of a novice, I have to say, when it comes to American style whiskies. But I was very pleasantly surprised with the, the smoothness of those rye whiskies. And as you say, they'd be perfect to, to pop into a cocktail or, or just to have, you know, by itself um, with anything, really. I mean, we, we'll talk about food pairings in a moment. Um, but let's talk about the Jack Daniels Craft and Luxury Collection here in Singapore. Singapore, which uh, Brown Foreman has launched. Um, I, I, what I want you to tell tell me is the, the, the different notes, the blending, the different maturation process, the importance of the water that's also used in those. Yeah, so we've just as I said we're launching a, a new series called our Craft the Luxury series, which is a combination of our signature uh, single barrel offerings that's now available online and in fine establishments across across Singapore and across the region. You know, really with Jack Daniels whiskey and you look at um, the smoothness and the flavour that comes from American whiskey, uh, everything from grain to glass uh, is, is crafted. Um, we still make the whiskey. Uh, Jack Daniels made it back in 1866, so now we've refined that process. So we're using the best grain, so we're using those combinations of corn, rye and malted barley in our Tennessee whiskey. And then we're flipping that sort of high percentage for our rye whiskies up in the rye content to give you a great um, um, you know, rye-style whiskey. But why Jack Daniels moved to Lynchburg, Tennessee, and he set up his operation back in the day, uh, because to make great whiskey, you need great water. So we have a, a case spring hollow where our water comes through the ground at 13 degrees all year round. So we have this beautiful iron-free water, which is rich in minerality. that gives us this really beautiful, soft you know, intake of water that we really want to uh, use for our backbone of our whiskey. And then from there, we'll We'll sort of uh, grind all those grains down, the corn, that rye, that malted barley, and we'll add water, and then we'll sort of heat that up and add in a live cultivated heat strain. And that live cultivated heat strain will uh, give us that signature flavour once again. That heat will cons- uh, consume those natural sugars, and what we live with is a distiller's beer from where we distill um, to a higher proof and get a new make spirit coming off our stills. And then at Jack Daniels, why we're a Tennessee whiskey and not a bourbon, We use a process called the Lincoln County process, which is a a Tennessee way. And Jack Daniels, to this day, uh, time on it. And to be called a Tennessee whiskey, you have to use this process, that Lincoln County process. So every single drop of new make spirit, uh, we mellow through sugar uh, maple wood, about 10 feet of sugar maple wood. And it takes anything between three to seven days for one single drop of new make spirit to come out of one of our mellowing vats before we put it in a, a new handcrafted barrel. Wow. And really, it's the, mm, yeah, and, and so it's a long process. You know, just that one step alone, that, that thinking counter process, the sugar maple wood process, will cost us anything minimum of about a million US a year just to do that one step. So everything we do at Jack Daniels, we have a, we have a saying, every day we make it, we make it the best we can. And we really, um, you know, when we look at a barrel, we're the only American company to have our own cooperage. And, a, and it's not just a barrel, it's a whole barrel. And, um, you know, for us, we, uh, a barrel is not just a, a container for whiskey, but it's a it's number one ingredient. Mm. So, you know, up, you know, up to 70% of flavor, 100% of color come from a new handcrafted barrel, and what, which we uh, raise by hand from new, new white American oak. And once that whiskey comes through that sugar maple wood uh, process, that Lincoln counter process, we put it in one of our barrels and put it in one of our warehouses and let nature do its thing. Mm-hmm. And in the U.S. and the Jack Daniels, we'll only use those barrels once, and then we'll sell it to our friends in Scotland and Ireland <laughs> and across the globe, and people <laughs> love using our barrels. I bet they do. But how wonderful to have all of that at the, the you know, the, the, the Jack Daniels disposal in, in the sense of it's all at their fingertips. The other thing I, I was interested when I watched the video um, of, of, the, of Jack Daniels was that there's only been a few master distillers over the years. Yeah, we've only had seven heads of production at our at our time in over 154 years of producing Jack Daniels whiskey. So there have been more uh, popes in the Catholic Church, uh, and, and as an example, and in terms of the amount of people that have crafted our whiskey over those generations. So over 154 years, we've only had seven heads of production who have been in charge of making sure that that quality and that whiskey is the best we make it every single day we can. Fantastic. Now, the other thing that I was really interested in, in hearing and learning from you the other day, Grant, was the charcoal mellowing. Um, I never heard that about that before. Talk about how important that is for Jack Daniel's taste. 
Yeah, you know, we believe, or we call it the extra blessing, um, and that's why Jack Daniels, when you look at our labels and our, any of our products, uh, from our old number seven through to our, our craft, the luxury range, our single barrel offering, uh, the charcoal mellowing, we believe, gives it that extra smoothness. Um, we believe by charcoal mellowing it through the sugar maple wood, that gives us at least another two to three, four years of a maturation in the barrel. But saying that, you know, uh, we go on taste and flavour, not an age. But that charcoal mellowing essentially will give us that extra bit of smoothness that we need. Um, not what we need, but we're looking for. And, and yeah, sure, we say we need uh, to give us that signature Jack Daniels flavour that, we, that we, we're so famous for. Fantastic. You're listening to Eat Drink Singapore here on CNA 938 with me, Justine Moss, and I'm speaking with Grant Shearer and his brown foreman, regional brand ambassador. We're talking about Jack Daniels. We'll come back and talk more in just a moment. Let's have another look at the roads for you, see if there are any updates to bring you. And just to let you know, we've got roadworks on Thompson Road towards Newton after Marymount Road, avoid the right lane, and roadworks also on Thompson Road, the junction of Marymount Road. On the road with LTA Traffic. Welcome back into Eat Drink Singapore here on CNA 938. Speaking with Grant Sheeran, Brown Foreman, Regional Brand Ambassador about Jack Daniels. Uh, now, Grant, uh, do you have a favourite from uh, the luxury g- collection? You know, it depends. You know, that's so, that's so great. But yeah, we have such diverse whiskey. It's like picking your favourite child, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, I think if you look at our signature uh, our barrel offering, you know, from our uh, we have three that we just launched in, uh, in the region. We have our 90 proof, which is 45% alcohol, and it's, it's going to have a beautiful combination of that grain, sweet aromatic spice, fruit and wood, and you're going to have all those beautiful complex flavours. And that's our, our first offering. And then we have a, a more of a, a robust expression of that that we've just launched, which is 100 proof, a bit more alcohol, but more spirit forward at 50%. And then we've also got that single barrel rye, uh, 90 proof rye. So depending... Know how you wake up in the morning, Justine, which cocktail you like it in. So, um, you know, I like sort of experimenting with those three whiskies in different styles of cocktails and different style drinks, either neat or in a classic cocktail. Fantastic. Well, you know, there's always these stories, you know, when you're in Scotland and if you ask for a cube of ice in your whiskey, you'll get chased out the pub. Um, what about with uh, Jack Daniels? Is it all down to personal preference or is there a real best way to, to enjoy them, like with ice or neat? Uh, 100%. You know, we're not going to tell you how to drink the whiskey as long as you're drinking our whiskey. That's the most important thing. And, and you're having a good time for a, a long time, not a short time. Obviously, you drink our, our whiskeys responsibly. That's very important. So, you know, for us, American whiskey, Tennessee whiskey, Jack Daniels from our craft the luxury range to our, our signature old number seven, the world's biggest selling American whiskey, still made of craft, can made neat on the rocks and a great classic cocktail. Yeah, and talking about cocktails, uh, Grant, I hear that you're pretty good at creating cocktails. You also spend your spare time collecting cocktail books. What's the best cocktail you've created? Yeah, I went to the University of Love, Justine. I went to, uh, when I first got to the UK as a, a young man back in the early 90s, you know, I've made anything from pina coladas to classic cocktails. But, you know, through that time, I've, I've experimented with flavours. But I like to go back to what I like to call the Magnificent Seven, the pillars of classic American cocktails. And I... I always sort of use our signature range around seven classic American cocktails, things like a, from anything from a sour to an old-fashioned or a julep. So anything from those, those beautiful classic sour drinks, which combinate sort of citrus and sweet and aromatic bitters and a, a beautiful Jack Daniels whiskey to base, or to a classic old-fashioned, one of the world's oldest cocktails, which is simply just single barrels and aromatic bitters some citrus, some water and some sweetener. So that's the, the versatility and the great thing about Jack Daniels Sensor Whiskey. It, it works perfectly well in, in great uh, classic cocktails from Spirit Ford or that stands up well with, you know, things. That, as an example, I'm uh, with our rye, co- a rye uh, whiskey at the moment. Mm. I'm doing a twist on a drink called a Mai Tai. So I'm using American whiskey, taking out the rum, putting in an orget, which is like an almond uh, flavorings and some pineapple juice and citrus so it works well in tropical flavors or in classic cocktails also oh my gosh and it's still very very smooth well while we're on this subject of the new ones um grant just give us a couple of food pairing options i've tasted the, the you know the the rye whiskies the single barrel hundred proof which is just lovely that mm. one very very rich talk a couple of uh, food pairing options we can have with those well, you know, with the, the rise of American cocktails, also come the rise of these sort of great American barbecue joints. I love pairing um, Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey with some great American barbecue. 
And one of my favourite joints in Singapore is a place called Meat Smith. So I think American whiskey pairs well with those rich sort of meaty flavours, also with sort of meaty fish dishes. So, um, you know, again, because of that smoothness and the, the difference between the, the Mellowins, Jack Daniels, and those big, bold flavours in the single barrel re- really works well with those beautiful sort of rich um, you know, flavour profiles coming through in those type of dishes. Yeah, Meat Smith has some great meat dishes, so that would be perfect. What about the, the one of those for, for say, a, a dessert? Any, anything that you would um, opt for? Oh, I think, uh, you know, American whiskey apple pie, banoffee <laughs> pie, anything, you know, with, if you look at Jack Daniels, when we look at our flavour profile on Jack Daniels, one of the sweet aromatics, uh, big profile in, in, in Jack Daniels is vanilla or caramel or butterscotch. It's also going to have honey. Um, so anything that has any of that vanilla chocolate notes is going to work exceptionally well because of that sweet aromatic that's naturally uh, um, in the Jack Daniels whiskey. Fantastic. And I can't let you go without mentioning this uh, Brown Form and Lasmal flagship store, which is set to be the most comprehensive online store here in Asia. Talk a bit more about that, Grant. Yeah, you know, uh, with our partners uh, and uh, across the region and our distributors, Lasmal and uh, the, the shop uh, with the Brown Port, port slash Brown Form, and we have a, a unique offering of the Craft the Luxury range plus other Brown Form and American whiskies and, and malt whiskies there. It's a great opportunity for you to shop uh, from the comfort of your home or behind your phone uh, to pick up one of those great brands. But I, I also might add, you know, now that Mr. 19 has decided to go away, or hopefully it's uh, not going to spike again, please go and visit some of our, our great.